Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Joseph Freeman, and today I want to talk to you about some of the research that I do in my laboratory at Virginia Tech. Today I want to tell you about what's in my hand right now. If you take a closer look, it looks like I have a, um, a vial that's filled with you know, sand. You can see it moving around, you can hear it a little bit. Actually, it's a vial full of microspheres. Now what are microspheres? Microspheres are extremely small spheres or balls of polymer, polymer being a type of plastic. So what we do in my lab is that we, um, we actually take um, different polymer solutions or plastic solutions and make these little um, spheres out of them for biomedical engineering purposes, which I'll talk about later. Now how do we do this? In order to get these um, tiny little spheres or balls of polymer, um, to make it to different things. What we actually do are use um, a technique uh, based on an emulsion. So here in my hand I have a um, bottle of liquid. We've got water on the bottom and we've got oil on the top. Now everybody knows that oil and water you know, don't mix. Oil um, floats on top of water. So what, but what happens if you were to shake a vial of oil and water together? shake it up, what happens is it looks as if they mix, but in reality they don't. What happens is that the liquid, I'm sorry, the oil actually goes into the water, but it forms a tiny little ball so that outside the, um, the molecules of oil on the outside are protecting the ones on the inside. And so there are all these little balls of oil that are surrounded by all the water that used to be on the bottom. And this mixture of oil and water will the oil um, forms into these little globs inside of the, uh, the liquid water. It's called an emulsion. As you can see here, here's our oil and here's our water. And if we mix them a little bit, if we shake it up a little bit, what you'll see is that there are these little balls, almost bubbles, of oil that form and then they form back up here. Now those little balls or bubbles of oil, with, they have a layer of water around them. And that little bit of mixture, that uh, breaking apart of the oil layer into these little balls that are surrounded by water, that's called an emulsion. And so what we do in our lab is that we take a polymer solution and we put it into some, a liquid that doesn't mix well with it and we shake it up at a really high rate or we mix it up very quickly. And then when we mix it up very quickly, we form tiny little balls or tiny little spheres of that polymer in the solution and then we evaporate the solution so that all that's left are these tiny little balls that we call that we call microspheres. And my student Taya is going to talk to you about uh, exactly how we make them in the lab. Hi, my name is Taya Andrick. I am a PhD student working at the Dr. Freeman and today I'll show you and we'll talk about how to make polymer microspheres. That are, those are spheres that are on the size of a tenth, but well below millimeter in, in, in size. You can see them right here. I don't know how well you can actually see them. And I'll go more into detail about how we make these in our lab. So first we start the, this works on the principle of water and oil that don't mix. So if you know your oil and water, the solution, if you try to shake it, you have the bubbles, spheres form, and then if you just leave it set, those two will separate the oil will stay on the top and the water at the bottom. So this is the principle that we're also using, where our oil is a polymer, plastic that is dissolved, and we have water in here, it's alcohol solution that is used. So the way it happens is we're going to mix the two, and instead of shaking it, we're going to be using stir bar and keep constantly shaking it so this we create these small, small spheres of balls. So the solution is placed below the surface inside the polyvinyl alcohol or the clear solution that you see right here. And as I'm injecting the solutions, because of the stirring, the spheres start forming. Now with a stir bar, 
constantly mixing the solution. It's not going to allow two phases to separate. And the, the solvent that we use to dissolve our, our polymer will evaporate and will leave behind solidified small spheres that I've just shown you. We will leave it on for 24 hours for solvent to evaporate and once the microspheres are created, they'll be in this liquid, in, this, in the water solution, which will then dry out and we'll just be left with the microspheres, which will, we'll use the shaker, which I'll show you later on, to separate them by size. them to stir for 24 hours and this morning I took them out, rinsed them and we used the vacuum, the filter paper to dry them out. And so what we're going to try to do now is separate them by size because they're all in different sizes so we want to make sure that we can group in the same size range. So here we have four different sieves and each of these, each of these has a different uh, diameter pore size, so that way we can keep track of the sizes and we're going to select them from the lowest one to the highest one. So this right here is the shaker. We're going to put, in, put it in here. So this machine will shake this together and so as it's shaking, the spheres and little balls will be falling through the sieves that I just shown you and they'll be stuck so that way, for example, that way we can be in each band will give us a different size range, size range of the microspheres. So this is just finished. We finished shaking this, and now we're going to try to take them out. And yeah. These are very big. And so now we're going to put some on the microscope slide and take a look at them under the microscope. Yeah, because they're too small. And there you they are. Yeah. You see how they're round, completely have a round shape. And so those little particles that we showed you before, this is actually what they look like under the microscope. Okay. Thank you very much, Taya. Thank you. So that's it. I hope you learned something about making microspheres for biomedical engineering purposes. As I mentioned before, uh, we use microspheres for a lot of different things in biomedical engineering. We can soak uh, different types of medicines and drugs into microspheres and then put, make, form those microspheres into a shape and implant them into your body to release medicine um, for different sicknesses, including cancer, over time. We can also use them to replace different um, parts of your body, different tissues such as bone, that are you know, very hard. So we can take these microspheres, melt them all together into a shape, like a disc or a cylinder and then plant them into uh, dead tissue or, miss or where tissue is missing due to an accident or an operation and then over time your body will grow something new into those microspheres and those microspheres will dissolve away. So there are a lot of different uses for these microspheres and I hope you learned a lot about them. If you have any questions for me, uh, just send them on to your teacher and your teacher will email me and I'll be happy to answer them in our next DVD. Thank you and have a good day.